teleological explanation is a way in which local situations and present situations are explained in terms of situations that are distant in space and time. It's particularly useful in the life sciences where the present structure and function of organisms can be explained in terms of what these need to become in the future. For biology, this effect before cause idea is very much second to the cause to effect ideas of evolution. In any case, in everyday life we don't see effects before causes. It would be a help to teleologists if an underlying physical principle could be found. Over the last decade or so, something called the two-state vector has been introduced into quantum theory. Quantum theory is incredibly useful, but its interpretations are extremely bizarre. The two-stage vector interpretation largely avoids these bizarre outcomes. But it does more than that. It provides a way in which teleology might have a physical basis. Let's take a trip into my local city of Canterbury. Westgate Gardens. The River Stour. A leaf steadily floating downstream. To quote Isaac Watts, time is an ever-flowing stream. But is it that steady? Let's slow the film down and have a closer look. Of course, we get to the level of frame-by-frame -frame stills. These could be regarded as individual quanta of time. There's a snag with this analogy though, because each instant of time is unconnected to the one before or after. Let's look at the individual frames and use the dissolve function. Now each instant of time overlaps with the one before and the one after. So each quantum of time is connected to the future as well as the past. What we call the effect could affect the cause. The reason that we don't observe this is that the way in which entropy changes in the universe sets a direction for time. One of the main objections against entropy affecting the direction of time has been the quantum effect. But in this interpretation of quantum theory, that's no longer an issue. The probability of what we would call an effect affecting a cause is very low. But improbable doesn't mean impossible. And the universe has a way of magnifying small changes to make very large changes.